What's up, my Crusaders for Christ? Diana the Joe. Go to YouTube. Go to the at Go 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 team. Like and subscribe. So we just finished up um, God's grace for broken people. And so I wanted to tie into that how um, so it, I call it the broken vessels in God's masterpiece. But how God's redemptive power and how he uses broken people for his glory. See, the Bible is full of individuals who face brokenness. Yet, they were able to find joy and purpose and reward in the relationship with the Lord. And that's kind of what I want to focus on here. So whenever we jump into the scriptures, um, the first one that I ran across is Joseph. That makes sense. He's in Genesis, right? And from pit to palace is the way that I see Joseph. So... Joseph was sold into slavery by his own brothers. Can you imagine your family selling you into slavery? It's terrible. He was falsely accused. He was in prison. Joseph experienced a really deep brokenness. However, through God's uh, providence and through his divine intervention, Joseph arose from the pits and was able to go to the palace. And he became a key figure of salvation for God's people. And in Genesis 50, 20, we, we see where it says, But as for you, though through evil against me, but God meant unto good to bring it to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. Um, what the enemy uses for evil, God will use for good. So keep in mind that whenever you're going through a dark place and you feel like the enemy is attacking you, you know, God is right there with you and he's carrying you through. One of my favorite poems is Footprints in the Sand. If you don't know it, read it. It's amazing. Um, but I love you guys with the love of the Lord and let's go, go, go tell the world about Jesus.